like I have to say that. real. 
some of us will say, well, parents need to watch their children and, you know, pay attention to what their children are doing on the internet. But of course we know that that's almost impossible. These things are just too readily available and very difficult to block. said that doesn't mean that I think it's the fault of the internet. I mean, the internet is a wonderful tool. I mean, isn't it something how uh, as soon as some thought pops into your head and you're curious, you could just type it on Google and find out the answer. You know, years ago, nothing was like that. You had to look things up in books. Can you believe it? Which obviously wasn't something that you could just do on the spur of the moment. I mean, the internet is just a fabulous, amazing thing, but with good comes bad, and I mean, some would say that something like the Slender Man thing is not all that bad, uh, in that it is very creative and artistic and imaginative, and nobody ever intended for people to become violent and act it out. But you never know what effect something will have on someone. But couldn't the same thing be said about a book that a kid might have read in the 80s, you know, a creepy book? I'm sure there's someone out there who acted out something that they read about or something that they saw on a movie. So, we really can't blame the source of inspiration in that way, I think. It's something that is completely unexpected and, you know, hindsight is 2020. It's just very unfortunate that something that somebody created for a Photoshop contest caused people to attempt murder. And do we believe that justice was served by these two girls um, being sentenced to time in a mental health facility? I mean, Morgan is still there. said, uh, Anissa is now out. Do we feel that her seven years in there was enough time? Do we feel that she is still a danger? If you believe in the shared psychotic disorder diagnosis, then so long as she's not Morgan, hopefully she should be okay. I mean, luckily they are keeping her under some 